Cats was based on a book of poetry by T.S. Eliot named Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. And Lloyd Webber took almost verbatim the poems and made them into songs and then put together a show based on those poems. Every year or so, the cats, they all get together and they have this big party where uh, they sing, they dance, they, you know, have a really good time and meet each other. And then through the whole experience, the audience is let in and they get to see all the different personalities of the cats and they find that they are almost as human as humans can be. It's basically a perspective of human nature and what we're all like, specifically speaking British society as it was written by T.S. Eliot, but it's done from a cat's perspective. So it's not as harsh and it's kind of candy glossed over and not quite as in your face as what we would take it if it was done with humans saying all the same things. Well, I am actually a character that one of the characters, Gus the theater cat, played when he was younger. The part that I am in in the show starts off with Gus talking about the old days. He talks about who he was, what he did, and then we go into a sequence of a scene from a show that he was once in. I'm a pirate cat, I'm on a ship. I meet a fair maiden, Griddlebone. We sing a love song. The Siamese cats that have been after me eventually attack, come get me. It's basically just a story within a story. It's kind of neat because it's a little outside of the realm of the rest of the show. And Billy would dance on the bar. And Billy would dance on the bar. And then we'd feel balmy in each eye and tear. When you reach the scene of crime, the cat is not there. My character is the good time cat. She likes to run and play and be silly and is sometimes snotty. She's friends with everyone and is mean to everyone and just kind of like the mean girls of the cats group. Isabella, if Cats has a through line, it's my story. I was kind of a rock star, a glamour cat as they call her, and she left the tribe uh, and is now older, uh, run down, not as beautiful as she was, and is back um, trying to get back into the tribe, and they're not all that enthusiastic about her presence. So Grisabella's story is um, her journey from being an outsider to being welcomed back into the fold. My character is the paternal figure of the Angelical Cats. He oversees them. There's reference that uh, he's been around a long while. It's kind of taken that many of the cats that you see during the show are part of his family. He is the one to decide who is going to be picked to go to the heavy side layer. For this show, my job is to teach the cast what they are singing in the show, make sure that the musical numbers sound really good so that the audiences can be amazed by the vocal power as well as the dance and the acting. Um, I also uh, conduct the pit for the show. What's cool about the music is how much energy is in the show. Um, and how there's all these different moments. Sometimes they're happy songs, sometimes they're songs where they're just having a big grand old party, and then there's songs that are very uh, touching. Really 
the same way I approach any show is to look at the structure of the show, but also take my own spit on it as well. It's well known for its, its 80s sort of jazz kind of choreography, and I've uh, kind of tried to go outside of that and incorporate all forms of dance, from ballet to ballroom dancing, jazz dancing, modern, um, kind of like 80s hip hop as well, to uh, make it a really well-rounded show. This show is spectacular. It's a typical EPAC take on a show. Um, it's a little modern, it's a little edgy. There's dance numbers, there's singing numbers. Theater lovers will love it because it's cats, and people who don't know anything about theater will love it because it's incredible. It's a family show. You're gonna see kids' eyes light up. You're gonna see adults' eyes light up. Every song has a story to tell, every character has a story to tell, and you could see Cats a thousand times and see a different show every time you see it, depending on who you're watching. I think it'll be spectacular.